Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here we've got a nice picture of countryside and mountains and a typical thing we'll do is we'll bring up the curves and we might say let's try and improve the contrast a bit so we'll you know, bring up the lights a bit and maybe bring down the darks. No, that's making the foreground a bit too dark. Maybe we need to bring this up here. Oh dear, but now all that's going a bit light up here. And we're losing this, the mountains here, because if we take that off, look, the mountains are quite nice there, but now they're going a bit hazy. Let's reset that. And a way we can approach this is a slightly different approach, rather than just grabbing the cur curve and pulling it up and down, is to use the picker, which is this thing here, which is a bit like an eyedropper, like we have up here, or the color picker tool here, in that we go and click on the, the image and what happens is when we select a point, drag it up and down, then we'll end up selecting a point here. <coughs> so, for example, I want to, to, say, brighten the fields here a bit. Click on that. If I go sideways, not a lot happens. But if I go up and down, now it moves the curve up and down. You can see the point on the, the curve there that it's moving. So I can sort of bring this up a bit here. But then I've, I'm still getting back to this problem here of the mountains going out. So let's right click that to bring it back. What can we say anchor the mountains here? So if I just take a point on here, click here, and if I move sideways a bit, the point appears on the graph, but because I'm not moving up and down, it hasn't changed. Maybe I'll do it over here as well. I'll click on this and move that sideways. And look, there's a point down there. There's another one over here. Click on this. There's a one in between. Maybe a bright one up here. Here we go, and it sets, puts a set of dots there. It's just going to hold this down. Now then, if I want to brighten the foreground, I can click here and drag up. And this is just coming up here, but the mountains are not being affected at all. And here we see the point. It's in the shadows, so it's not affecting the sky. But I could still click on the sky and drag that down. And that's making the sky a bit darker. And if, say, I want to like, make the trees a little bit darker, so if I click on that and move that down, you know, it darkens that nicely. See, it's just picked that little point on there. When it does this, whenever it's picking a point, it's pulling down here, it's also pulling up the other side. So you might want to say, well, let's control that a little bit. So we can still balance between the image and the graph and see where it's going. And one thing to be careful with all this is to know you don't want to make it start becoming too unnatural. The green here is looking a bit a bit odd, isn't it? So we could go away and we could <coughs> change the greens, um, which would be quite, so we could, for example, here, click on the, there we go, down arrow, pick up the greens, and we could say, let's change the greens a little bit. There we go, just a little tweak to make them look a little bit more natural, and so on. So overall then, the key thing is click on the picker, click on a, an area, a point in the, uh, the picture and drag up and down to increase or de decrease the colours which match just or the luminosity which just matches that point that you have selected. And then you can do other things to make further improvements. Okay, thank you very much for watching.